right now we are witnessing the rise of vertical AI and it definitely parallels what we saw with vertical SaaS. So 10 years ago, I was working in venture capital and at the time SaaS was like super hot and it was really hard to get into deals and all the deals were in our perspective, super overvalued. So we started looking more at vertical SaaS. Funnily enough, everyone had the same idea. So then everyone started looking at vertical SaaS and what vertical SaaS means is you apply SaaS into kind of more of a niche sector that has unique needs. And essentially the reason why you want to have vertical SaaS is because these industries tend to have unique workflows that you have to build for that general tools don't really serve super well. So we're starting to see the same exact thing happen in vertical AI. So all of these companies have discovered, you know, general AI is pretty freaking competitive. So they want to apply AI into a vertical space where the people in those verticals may not think that the general AI tools serve their needs well enough. So a couple examples of recent raises, Numeric raised $28 million from Menlo Ventures to go after the accounting space. This other company raised $10 million to go after the computational biology space. And then Basecamp Research raised $60 million to basically compete with AlphaFold. So I would consider all of these kind of vertical AI solutions, except maybe Basecamp because they are kind of doing something a little bit more general and super large. It's a gray area. So is there anything we can learn from the vertical SaaS history and apply it here to vertical AI? Well, I think in the vertical SaaS space, what ended up happening is VCs threw a lot of money at all kinds of vertical SaaS companies in the supply chain, in transportation, in healthcare, and some of them panned out and some of them didn't. And I think a really big reason why certain vertical SaaS companies don't pan out is because they go after too small of a market with too much money. So I think it's possible that that's going to happen to a lot of the vertical AI companies that are raising right now that may be raised at an amazing valuation, but are targeting too small of a market. So we'll see if that pans out.